Hey folks, just a quick message about the hack on brand new tube that took place yesterday, uh, the 10th of October 2020. Uh, it appears that user data was stolen, about 110,000 people's data was compromised there. We're not sure exactly what the hackers have gotten away with yet, but there is word that you're actually required to send ID to brand new tube if you want to have a verified account. So they have taken scans of driver's licenses and passports as part of the signing up process if you want a registered account on BNT. So we can only hope that that information was not accessed by the hackers as the ramifications of that could be pretty severe, especially for BNT themselves, if not for the people who have sent in documents. But we're yet to see what's actually been taken other than usernames and email addresses so far. So I've only just become aware that BNT's founder, who I believe is called Mohammed Butt, he has released a statement and in the interest of fairness, I feel that I should just make you aware of the statement. I've just become aware of it myself. I'm not sure where the statement was actually put out, but it was made public by one of their lead presenters, which is Sonia Poulton. Now, Sonia put this statement out on her Twitter and it was about eight hours ago, so it was around about 12 noon on the 11th of October, 2020, the day after the hack. As far as I can tell, the hack happened about 24 hours previously, give or take a couple of hours. So I'll read out the statement to you just now. The statement says, Dear concerned members, current hack update. Further investigations are taking place into the spectacular attack we received following Friday night's RAW report, 03. I can confirm that there have been multiple failed attempts at taking our uncensored platform down overnight. I think we can all guess why this is happening. We are taking all the necessary precautions to protect our users and platform. More updates will follow. Kind regards. MNB senior founder BNT. So that is a statement. Now I've also seen several tweets from BNT users or those claiming to be BNT users. Bear in mind this is not proven, these are not proven claims, however I thought it's worth mentioning that a lot of people on Twitter are stating that their devices, particularly mobile devices, have either had viruses or malware attacking them since the hack or that their antivirus software has alerted them to the possibility of such software appearing on their devices. So if you do use BNT on a mobile device or even on a PC to be honest you might wish to look into those claims a bit further and decide for yourself what action to take. Cheers folks!